As Nigeria joins the rest of the world to mark the International Women's Day, stakeholders have been charged to continue to speak out against all cultural restrictions and stereotypes against women and girls. Now, this call was made by the wife of the Lagos State Governor, Dr. Ibijo Kesonwonlu, at an occasion to mark the celebration. Plus, the Venice correspondent Love Ikuku Oyedokun tells us more in this report. Here are women of all ages, class, colors, and creed celebrating the 2023 International Women's Day. The day is aimed at espousing the ideals of women and reiterate the need for the rights of women to be respected and protected. Society has raised the standards higher for women than for the for the other, you know, for the other gender. So when when a man does wrong, you know, it's society would overlook it, but if it's a woman. You know, the society behaves as if, you know, the women are supposed to be super normal. Women are very, very special. Without us, there is no society. Without, without us, there is no continu continuity. Because it is true of that the world continues. And um, today we have met a lot of beautiful women who have done great things in, the, in, their, in their profession. And we are really, really proud of them. Speaking at the event themed, Digital Innovation and Technology for Gender Equality, Wife of Lagos State Governor Dr. Ibiju Kesa Wunlu noted that it cannot be sustainable development without proactive and deliberate policies and systems to empower women. In Lagos State, especially in the Executive Council, we have women in places of the hands of our affairs. We have women in the Ministry of Women Affairs and Poverty and Innovation. We have a woman heading. Ministry of Wealth Creation. We have a woman heading an essay when it comes to uh, works and infrastructure. We have the women, like the ones you saw her, LSETF. The event was put together by Toyosi Akirili, the founder of Rise Network. She strongly holds that women have come a long way technology wise and are worth celebrating. You just see the role that young people, young women, are playing in the democratization of the knowledge and the access of technology um, in the last couple of years. And I'm not talking about, you know, software or hardware technology now. I'm speaking to advanced technologies like artificial intelligence. I'm talking about data science, data analytics, machine learning. These are, I mean, these spaces are the spaces that are generating the highest quality of employment around the world. Young women are practically dominating that space. Nigerians are innovating, creating jobs. Nigerians are creating products. Many things happen day to day. Life, life happens, day to day struggles and so on. But this kind of day enables us to sit back and focus and say, are we still on path? Do we need to do more? What have we done and so on? So really, I think it's a wonderful opportunity for us to reflect and move forward. The International Women's Day is celebrated every year on March 8 and is a focal point on women's rights movement bringing attention to issues such as gender equality, reproductive rights and violence and abuse against women. Love Ikuku Uyedukun, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.